Okay, we'll start with an RX FW501, size 14, uh, barbless dry fly hook. This is the pheasant tail X caddis. Uh, we'll just put a bit of tying thread on. About halfway, then uh, just a few strands of Zelon. This is for the trailing shuck. So just take this back. This we only want a, a very uh, the slightest hint of this, so you only need a few strands. That's loads. Good. Then a length of very fine wire. If you don't like using wire on your dry flies, you can use a fine monofilament if you feel it gives it extra weight, especially when you're doing very small patterns. So that has to be tied in right at the base of the Zelon, like so. Then what we need is a few strands from a too many that that'll do us. A few strands from a centre tail from a ring neck pheasant. Put these on and go up here. Just secure those in. There we are. Then take our pheasant tail. And what you want to do is you don't really want to these fibres to cross, you want to keep them parallel. So start down in the Zelon and work our way up. If you find they are crossing, you can just put your finger on like that, hold them in position, straighten them again. Same as if they're getting a bit short, finger there, take them around. There we are, and I'll just wind back, catch those in, like so. Trim off the surplus, and just tie that down. Then what I want to do is I want to go the opposite way with the wire rib. This is just to strengthen really the pheasant tail. Up the body like this. Tie that off. And just remove it with friction. Then we need a tiny bit, the smallest bit really, just of super fine dubbing. And I want to just build a little collar. Go forward, a small bunch of cleaned, stacked elk. That's perfect. Around a couple of times, and then we tighten. That's looking good. Then not tight enough. And we lift back the fibres a few at a time. Tighten it. Pull 
pull them all back put a stopper in of tying thread just to lift the head whip finish remove the tying thread It's an advantage of having longer hair to work with because then you can lift, separate it very easily from everything else when you're trimming it off. I, I like to have a little head on this, a little larger than normal because it, uh, I like it to push a bit of water if it's retrieved. So Our wing to position it. That's it. Pheasant tail, ex caddis. Great little fly. Thanks for watching.